Greetings from Hilo, Hawaii on a rainy afternoon. It certainly is wet outside, but it is dry in the greenhouse and very important that the growing tanks have enough water. Today we are going to build a simple water level indicator which will make it very easy to see how much water is in a tank. First, a 1 inch PVC pipe is cut to length, in this case 9 inches long. The ends should be cut straight and square. Next, the ends should be deburred with a file or deburring tool so that the pipe is nice and smooth. The two components of the water level indicator are a length of one inch PVC pipe and an equal length of one half by one half inch closed cell extruded polystyrene. I just use a razor blade to cut the extruded polystyrene. The polystyrene strip is placed in the PVC pipe which has a special viewing slit for this video. Water is added. The polystyrene strip rises. It works. At this point I want to caution against using expanded polystyrene beadboard as the float material because it will absorb water and the strip will not rise adequately. The density of extruded polystyrene foam typically ranges between 2.3 and 4.5 grams per 100 cc's. The density of water is 100 grams per 100 cc's. The density of extruded polystyrene foam shown in this video is about 3 grams per 100 cc's, thus 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter by 10 centimeters, which is about 4 inches, weighs 0.3 grams. When placed vertically in water, the foam strip will sink 0.3 centimeters or 3 millimeters into the water. A 20 centimeter length of 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter extruded polystyrene weighs 0.6 grams. When placed vertically in water, it will sink 0.6 centimeters or 6 millimeters, which is twice as much as a 10 centimeter length. Thus, the extruded polystyrene float indicator slightly underestimates the actual water level. A shorter indicator is more accurate than a longer indicator and the maximum length of the indicator shouldn't exceed 12 inches. Like I was saying, a longer strip of extruded polystyrene, like the one on the left, sinks more than a shorter length and therefore provides slightly less accurate water level readings. I have installed water level indicators in my hydroponic tanks of cucumbers, peppers, eggplants, and tomatoes. Water level indicators are also useful for sub-irrigated tanks. These tanks usually have free water in the bottom and potting medium on the top which is supported by an upside down nursery tray or something similar. In this example, a hole is cut in the upside down tray and the water level indicator is installed. Now I can monitor the water level in my sub irrigated tank of beans, of tomatoes, of peppers, 
and of ginger and turmeric. Yes, it really gives me peace of mind to know that my plants have water available to them. And now it's time to bid you aloha.